Okay, hey guys, so this is another Wash and Go series, and I'm going to be using some products today from Aunt Jackie's. Uh, so if you guys want to see how I got this Wash and Go and how I read it, then stay tuned. Okay, sorry, so I'm jumping right into the video and I'm actually going to be just showing you guys the front section. I feel like showing you guys the entire section. It's pretty repetitive at this point. But first I'm going in with the Aunt Jackie's Flex Seed Seal It Up Butter. And I'm just applying that to my hair as my leave-in. Um, I do not have anything else applied on my hair besides this. And then I'm going to go down and break it into smaller sections and detangle with my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. And then I'm going to go in with the Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Don't Shrink Elongating Curling Jelly and I'm going to be using this as my styler today. Um, you guys will see once I'm done um, how I feel about the results. Um, but this gel is super thick super slippery it kind of reminds me of the crystal um, eco styler gel um, and I am just gonna go in and kind of shingle my hair individually because I kind of wanted this to be more of a defined wash and go and um, I usually do this method when I'm looking for a more defined wash and go that's gonna last a few days so I'm definitely shingling my hair this is tedious it does take time but it's end up worth it at the end of the day if you're one of those people who like your wash and goes to last. And then I'm just going to repeat that section all over my hair. And the oil that I'm applying to my scalp, that is actually my Moisture Love um, sealed with the Kiss oil that I'm applying to my scalp. So still using that. Love that stuff. how my hair looks after I applied all of the product I'm just gonna tie down my edges with my satin scarf and I will be back So I just wanted to come through and show you guys how defined my curls are. They are super defined. I'm not going to touch it too much because my roots are still wet. And the shine on this is super bomb. I know you guys can see it. Like The shine on this is so bomb. Guys, Like I'm sorry. I'm looking at it in my monitor and it's crazy. Um, how defined my hair is. I love, 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 love this stuff. Um, <clears throat> now, I don't know about the don't shrink part, but I mean, I do know about the don't shrink part and this shit is still shrinking, but it is super, it's, it's, still, it's super, it's just super defined. Like I, I can't get over it. Um, so, yeah, but I wanted to come through and show you guys this. Um, my hair is probably about 80% dry. Not even, I want to say like 70 because it's really just my ends that are dry. The roots are not dry at all. So, yeah, we're going to 
I might have to put my bonnet dryer on. I need to get a, like a, a hooded dryer. Um, is what I really want to get, but I'm not gonna get one yet because I can't afford that right now. But it feel it feels nice. I mean, it there's a little crunch to it, but I'm gonna wait for my all of my hair to completely dry. Once I band my hair, all that crunch will go away anyway. So yeah, so that's that. I just really wanted to show you guys how the find, and I'm really liking how the find it is. So this is my hair the next day. I did band my hair like usual to stretch it. Um, I actually really like these results as well. I definitely want to say it's up there in the top. Um, I did like how my hair felt. There was a little bit of crunch, but I was able to scrunch it out. Um, after I took my bands out, it actually kind of, you know, went away. Um, but I really like the results. Um, let me know if you guys tried these out down in the description box. Please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.